Hello again, now that you've completed three of your five modules, congratulations. Before we move into module four, which will be observation and assessment, let's just review a few key concepts from module three. A few of them are that existing daily practices can support SEL and APL. These are not new standards that need to be suddenly implemented in the education setting. Um, and that SEL and APL can be intentionally embedded in your curriculum planning. Um, and the SEL and APL standards complement other content standards as we discovered through the crosswalks and linkages. In module three, we looked at curriculum planning and implementation. In order to create the most developmentally appropriate curriculum, we first need to understand where the children are in terms of their development in the education setting. In module four, we'll be looking at observation and assessment in children to better understand where they are in terms of their skill development. By starting where the child is, this will allow us to help children to build and strengthen their social emotional competencies and establish healthy approaches to learning in the education setting. Module four is designed to provide an understanding of the assessment cycle and the role of observation in documenting the development and progress of SEL and APL skills in young children. Also in module four, we'll explore more about SEL and APL skill development as a continuum for each child and reflect how ongoing and daily assessment can inform teaching practices to support and to promote individual growth for the child at the child's pace. We'll use some practice examples for ob using observation within the assessment cycle. In this module, a video clip of a classroom interaction and a vignette will be used to better understand the assessment of SEL and APL competencies. We will consider the importance of avoiding bias in the observation and documentation and take a look at some assessment tools designed specifically for SEL and APL assessment. Next, please read and listen to the PowerPoint presentation for module four. The link for the presentation, which is posted on YouTube, is on the module four tab on the course menu. Thanks.